Hi guys, we all know the wasp woman, that creepy old hag who lives alone in her shabby house. According to the map of Harvest, the house is abandoned, and it sure looks like it, but there she lives with the wasps which she loves so much. Well, as you can see, the little darlings do love to sting. Why does the wasp woman exist in the game? You don't have to interact with her at all to finish the game. If you want, you can kill her. But killing her won't change anything either. The Wasp Woman is like Colonel Buster Monroe. You can play the game through without ever meeting the whole character. Don't get your panties in a bunch, mister. The button is perfectly safe. I keep it on my person all the time. No commie bastard is getting his mitts on this button. No siree, Bob. No one initiates a nuclear holocaust in Harvest except me. The only difference is that you can't kill a Colonel Monroe. On the contrary, if you say one wrong word, he'll kill you and causes a nuclear holocaust. The Wasp Woman and Colonel Buster Monroe are both vital for the story. But let's now forget Colonel Buster Monroe and concentrate on the Wasp Woman. Can you give me any reason why I shouldn't shoot you right now? Harvest is a little town where everyone knows everybody. The Wasp Woman never leaves her house, but people talk about her, and there's a good reason for that. Let's see, for example, what happens when our hero Steve goes to the kitchen first time, where there's his mother and little sister. Sister? Shh, you'll wake her. I just put her down to sleep. If she wakes up, she'll just want to eat again. And soon she wakes up. Fine, maybe I am crazy. I can't rule that out. Why can't you just help me a little? Is that too much to ask? Now you've done it. Are you happy? Poor baby. There, there. Did your brother scare you? Let me see. Darn that wasp woman! She's a monster, that's what she is! Wasp woman affects into people's lives. To be precise, her dear wasps affect into people's lives. Steve's little sister is a good example of that. What's wrong with her? Oh, it's not as bad as it looks. You just pop them back in. See? As good as new. That tarantula she ate must have had wasp eggs in it. In the original script of Harvester, the Wasp Woman had a more important role than in the finished game. The player character Steve has to conclude many tasks to enter the lodge, and one of the tasks is to steal the cloth from the firemen. In the game you have to sneak to the fire station during the night to steal the cloth. But in the original script there's also another way to do it. It says here on the page 72 that you can set the Wasp Woman's house on fire to draw the firemen away, then kill the dog if you want, when stealing the cloth. In the finished game, you can't burn the wasp woman's house, but in the script, that possibility is mentioned many times. You can do it just for the fun to kill the wasp woman, or you can do it to draw the firemen away at the right moment. On the page 72, it also says that if you speak to fireman Sparky after the wasp woman's house is burned, Sparky tells you that a bunch of wasps seem to have moved in here, 
and they are all over the town too. Stinging, killing tarantulas and laying eggs. Buster's pet tarantula was killed by one of them. Buster is a fireman who doesn't exist in the finished game. What Fireman Sparky says, or what he should have said if you could burn the wasp woman's house, predicts what will happen to the little sister. The cutscene where little sister's eyes pop out comes a few days after the cloth is stolen, and as we know, she ate a tarantula which carried wasp's eggs. Every character on Harvester is a real person filmed in front of the green screen. So is the little sister. Of course, the baby they filmed is a grown-up now, and here's a major revelation for you. The baby is not she. It's he! <coughs> how fucked up is that? Now that grown-up man can watch on YouTube how they turned him into a girl and made his eyes pop out. The whole world can watch that on YouTube. What do you think? How does that man feel about it? Well, to get the answer, I call that man. His name is Michael Napodano Jr. and both of his parents were making Harvester. His father, Mike Napodano, was this guy, and he was also one of the main designers of the game. His mother Tracy did the role of the dark exotic woman, who is on the third level of the lodge. What a family! In the third episode of the Harvester show, I told you guys my theory about violent video games. I don't know if playing violent games can harm you, but acting in violent games can really mess your head up. Now, let's see if I was right. Uh, sorry about the weak quality of the connection. So, Michael, you were the little sister on Harvester, weren't you? Yes, I was. How traumatized are you? What? I'm not traumatized at all. Why should I be? Well, they turned you into a girl. I don't care. Besides, all babies look the same. I could have been a little brother as well. Yeah, he's denying everything. That's a very common reaction for people who can't handle their past. There are videos about you on YouTube. On those videos you are a baby girl who eats a tarantula and whose eyes pop out. Everyone in the whole world can watch those videos. How can you live with that? Easily. Uh, I think it's pretty funny. I doubt many people have videos of their childhood like that on YouTube. More denying. His condition is even worse than I expected. And so is the condition of the connection. From now on everything Michael says comes with a huge echo. Your parents must hate you. What? what? No they don't. No they don't. Well they ruined your life. How much mental problems do you have? I don't think I don't I'm the think one I'm here with mental, mental, problems. mental problems. Poor guy, he is living in an illusion. I'm sorry your parents are monsters. I'm sorry, I'm you're, sorry crazy. you're crazy. But do you have enough money for all the medication? That's it. That's don't it. Don't call me again. Don't call me again. Sadly, I was right. Acting in violent games can really mess your head up. Luckily, being a fan of some violent game keeps your mind healthy and clear. Back to the Wasp Woman. In the finished game, there's only one Wasp Woman related cutscene. The most relentless of insects. Here's something you have never seen before the storyboard for the cutscenes. Here's, for example, sketches for the cutscenes you just saw. The storyboard reveals us that there was supposed to be more Wasp Woman related cutscenes, but let's get back to that later. On the pages 16 and 17 of the script, Gil Austin, the writer of the game, describes what kind of person the Wasp Woman is. There are two things here that we don't see in the finished game. She is covered with welts, and if you kill her the wasps attack you and you have to get out fast or set fire to the house to escape. On the page 103 of the script, there's also one thing we don't see in the finished game. Cutaway, which means cutscene, where wasps are crawling all over a sandwich. With the storyboard, there's a list of cutscenes. The 27th cutscene here is the one you just saw, and if you'll check the storyboard, you can see that the number of that cutscene is 27. 
The other Wasp Woman related cutscenes are here, from number 104 to 107. These cutscenes never ended up in the finished game. Some cutscenes are so short that they require only one sketch on the storyboard. These are that kind of cutscenes, and here are the sketches. On the cutscene 104, the wasps fly across the screen to sting Steve. On 105, Steve screams with wasps on his face. On 106, there's a wasp woman covered with welts, and a wasp stinging her hand. On 107, there's a wasp crawling on a sandwich. That's it. I'll release the pages 16, 17, 72 and 103 on Harvester fanpage on Facebook. You can find the link to the pages under this video. When I was talking with Michael Napodano Jr., I said that his parents are monsters. I was joking, of course. Bye now. <laughs> Your parents must hate you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. My that parents love me. <laughs> <laughs> I know they love you. <laughs> <laughs> they are wonderful people. I'm sorry, your parents are monsters, yeah. <laughs> I wonder what they'll think when they see this. Yeah, me too, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs>